I'm Lou Ann Hammond with DrivingTheNation.com, here with Jim O'Sullivan. Well, Ann, great to see you. Welcome to L.A. Jim, you are President and CEO of Mazda. Uh, yes, I am. You are showing a Mazda Shinari concept. We have two vehicles here that we're showing at the, the L.A. Auto Show. One is the new Mazda 5 Next Generation, mm -hmm. which we did the global reveal in Europe. This is the North American reveal. And we're also revealing here our new design language, Shinari, our concept car. Over the years, last couple of years, you've shown some beautiful concept cars. Are you bringing them out into production? Well, let's put it this way. The concept cars that we've done in the past, the Nagari concept cars, a lot of that design theme is now in this generation Mazda 5 that we're revealing here in L.A. this afternoon. So there are elements of design philosophy that end up in production cars. We don't do concept cars just to do concept cars. Shinari for us is, is a perfect example of the next generation design philosophy for Mazda. And as we start introducing more products, you will see elements of Shinari in these cars. You're trying to increase your market share right now. Yes. How do you do that and keep the premium products you have and the, pro and the profit that you have? Well, I mean, it's it's certainly a, you know a very a very challenging market that we're in right now. Right. But if you go back and take a look at over the last several years, our net revenue is continuing to improve, uh, and driven by a couple of situations. Number one, uh, we just received here today a re an award from ALG mm -hmm. as being one of the top three residuals in the United States for the primary brand for Mazda. So one of the top three. Four to five years ago, we were near. We're about we're significantly away from the top. We've also been able to because we've been doing products. We've been reducing incentives because we're selling our cars based upon demand, not because of the deal. Uh, and Mazda 3, Mazda 6, CX-7, CX-9 is a perfect example of that. CX-9 just received the ALG award of the best vehicle with the highest residual in the crossover segment. You are now a standalone company. We always have been. Well, Ford has sold off. Ma their majority of you? Ford owns an equity share of the company. Uh, mm -hmm. They're at, uh, I believe, about 11% right now, but they're a very strong partner with us still today. Mm -hmm. um, we're JV'd in a number of areas in the United States, in China, in Thailand, for example. JV being joint venture. Joint venture, correct. Yes. So the relationship between Ford and Mazda continues to be very strong, uh, and we anticipate that that will continue. It's a 30-year history. No one in the industry has the heritage that Ford and Mazda has, and we're very proud of that. Any other joint ventures that you're that you're looking at now? Well, as you know, we announced uh, a few months ago uh, that we're we're tying in uh, the licensing agreements for the Toyota hybrid system. Mm -hmm. um, as we're continuing to evolve powertrains, as you know, we've been very public about improving overall fuel economy on our footprint. Again, vehicles we don't make big SUVs and full-size trucks, but by improving our fuel economy by 30 percent over the next several years, and we're going to do it by certainly number one. In improving gasoline fuel economy by bringing diesels into North America, uh, by improving our transmissions, taking weight out of all of our vehicles, and continuing to take a look at hybrids and HEVs. Again, the alliances I think you're going to find within the industry will continue to proliferate mm -hmm. and uh, looking at more of the commodity kinds of things, but still, I think in terms of where we're going, I, I feel very, very optimistic on the future of the brand. And keeping that premium product. Yes, absolutely. Jim O'Sullivan, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. And Glad to be here in L.A.